Thinking about purchasing a home today? Well, visit lvhomeexperts.com. It's a great website to get started, so download the app today. lvhomeexperts.com allows you full instant access to all the properties that are currently available on the market today. If you're looking for bank loans, short sales, or foreclosures, even new homes. So download the app, visit lvhomeexperts.com. All right, what's going on everybody? This is Chuck, it's with Simply Vegas bringing you another property tour. We're actually here in the city of Las Vegas, which we're actually located on the south side of town. So today we're gonna to be taking a tour by a product from Richmond, America, okay? Let me turn this thing around here so that way I can show you this house. So this model right here is actually the Roberts model. And I'm sure you've guys seen the Roberts model before at Onyx Point, which is located uh, the cliffs in uh, Summerlin, South Summerlin. Well, this is the exact same model, but the configuration is a little bit different. And also the pricing is about $120,000 less because of the location. Now, this property here is actually located right on the fringe of Southern Highlands but there are a total of 44 lots. There's only six lots available. As you guys can see, these lots actually have a strip view and the pricing is probably gonna be about almost 250,000 uh, per lot. So just keep that in mind. So the Roberts model here is a 4,000 square feet ranch home, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, three car garage. It does have a cover front porch cover patio, great room, study room, dining room with a butler's pantry. You have a gourmet kitchen with an island, nook and a walk-in pantry, game room with a master suite with a dual walk-in closet with a full bath including separate tub and shower with a private water closet, okay? Now the available features uh, with this property here, the fireplace at the uh, great room, professional kitchen, master suite, two at the bedrooms, two and three coffee, oh, I'm sorry, two and three office uh, cafe room. Whoops. Also, you have a guest suite too as well. Game room, wet bar with the master suite, extended cover patio with multiple sliders. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was just reading off this sheet here, okay? The uh, pricing on this one will start you off at $651,950. That does not include the lot price, okay? Not your structural upgrades, not your elevation, okay? Not your options, not your flooring or your electrical panel. So this looks like probably the suite, I believe. Okay, so this one is actually locked. They actually locked this. So it looks like that was your suite, but however, the suite, you still can get in on the other side. Now, also what I've noticed about this model is more traditional. The one over there in Summerlin, if you are more into the modern look, you'll definitely have that option as far as the uh, elevation. Now, as we walk in, you have this octagon looking type of tile. It looks like marble, which is really nice. However, as you can see, the marble has not been sealed on the grout and that shit looks dirty. Make sure you seal the grout. We have the formal dining here. Now, as you walk in, you have the coffered ceilings with the crown. If you do this here, you gotta do this to the whole house. Keep that in mind. So here is your office, okay? But this is optional, a bedroom. Now, you see this right here, this cutout? You had an option for a bedroom and you had an option to put here a, uh, a French door. This French door is not framed in. Later on, if you do decide you wanna turn this into a bedroom to add more value on the resale, it's gonna cost you that much more money to frame it in. So all I would do is frame in the French doors, but take off the French door so that way you have the look. So at the end of the day, you're just gonna have a trim that looks like this that goes around right here. That's only gonna run you about 400 bucks. But again, that just depends on the builder and what they are charging you per option. So coming on in here, this is a probably a 12 by 12 or maybe a little bit bigger, but look at the tray ceilings with the crown. 
See how I mentioned that you do it in there? If you do it there, you start adding trace zones. You got to do it almost in every single room. You have your one foot baseboards, it looks like, or 12 inch. You got your round nose edging, and you got your smack down texture. I love the more the uh, Spanish type. So coming on here, this is actually your suite. Now, this was a door that I couldn't get into because it was locked, okay? So coming in here, so your guests would come here, this door would always be shut, right? They don't have to bother you. Now let's say if you guys didn't even want this guest suite, you guys could take down all this wall and it could just be one big game room. For me, I would leave this as a guest suite. But the problem is that this guest suite is so nice, your guests will never leave. So that's something you would have to think of. Also, I would probably put in a little microwave here too as well. So here's the room, which is a pretty decent size. I would say probably 15 by 12, okay? Here's your ceiling height, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors, as you can see. Got your walk-in closet. This is probably like five by seven. There's nothing spectacular about this, but let me just show you the, the height again. It's cool tile work for sure. Dang, that does look cool though, huh? This is a quartz man-made. One thing about the man-made quartz, it's not porous. Uh, they say it's actually better than um, granite. But uh, one thing that I've learned is that you have to watch what type of uh, chemicals you use to wipe that down. They say it's best just to use soap and hot water. Ooh, I love the floating vanity here with the lights popping up. Damn, that's cool as hell. So here's your powder. Hmm, cool. Coming back to the main, here's your dining. This home's a little bit too traditional for me. I'm more of the modern type. Okay. We have your butler's pantry here. However, we're not gonna go there just yet. I'm gonna take you guys into the main living area. Wow, love the coffered ceilings here. But I'm gonna try to talk as much as I can over this music. Now this island right here uh, does come with it. Uh, I don't think it comes with two, um, uh, what do you call it, dishwashers. Also take a look at this, okay? You have your 42s and you have your double stacks. Now you can actually, on the other model in Summerlin, they actually have where you can raise the ceilings even higher. You see how close that looks and just how tight it looks? You have an option to go even higher. I think 15 feet on these ceilings, I think it is. So if you're gonna do that, you're definitely gonna have to raise it. Also, this is actually an upgrade. However, um, a home at this magnitude, you definitely need a grill like that. You got your backsplash, you got your pot filler, which is really nice, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the cabinets okay still got your dovetails by a uh, diamond which is really nice you know what the cool part about this home is take a look at this look at the color cabinets talking about contrast huh that's cool as hell dude i love the lighting on this love that big ass refrigerator man you can just park a car up in here i'm gonna pull up my key up in here dang look at that lunch guys lunch guys okay now, take a look how huge this frickin' island is, dude. 
Love the sink. Beautiful sink, right? Look at this. Imagine this entertaining right here. This entertaining, right? This is all going to be definitely an upgrade right here. The uh, coffered ceilings with the crown inside. You know how hard that is to do. Uh, one thing that I noticed that you must take a look at when these guys build this thing, you see the recess lining that you actually put inside? Make sure they're actually dead center. I've seen a couple that they um, did that option and it is not dead center. I would have been so pissed off. But fortunately, I didn't represent that uh, person. Um, it was just another uh, property I walked into. Uh, it was a model, not a model, but a standing inventory that was being finished. Now here's your butler's pantry right here. This is gonna be a upgrade option. I definitely would highly recommend that you do do that, okay? Cabinets, okay? This is uh, your three car garage. However, that is a sales office, so we're not gonna go in there yet. Oh, we, don't, we're not, we don't have to go in there because it's a sales office. Here's your laundry room. Now, take a look at this design with the waterfall here, okay? That's cool, right? Now, has nice cabinets. Now, it doesn't come with the cabinets. You definitely have to upgrade. Nice sinks. I mean, look at that. That's just cool as hell. Now, I'm gonna swing you guys back around again. Here's a door to the master closet, okay? Here is uh, for your camera system and also your cable, okay? Three car garage, your alarm. This right here would be a upgrade, okay? Looks like they put your ceiling access here. I do prefer inside my closet. So uh, here's your pantry, okay? Pantry is actually a really decent size here on the pantry, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna actually take you down to the second master suite, okay? Matter of fact, you know what? I didn't really show you guys how beautiful this kitchen is real quick. Let me just, just show you how, just doesn't justify it, okay? So here, we got two rooms. We got another room here, and the one back over there is the, uh, more of like the suite, you can say. Oh, you know what? They changed it. So here's a room, decent sized room, okay? We got a walk-in closet. Now, you have the option here where this room, right? I believe it cuts off, yeah, okay. So for this model, it cuts off here. It doesn't have a bathroom. But then if you walk into this room, oh, you know what? I'm confusing the hell out of myself. Okay, so coming back. That room that we were just in right here, you have an option to cut it off at that wall. This whole wing right here would be one big master bedroom and this would actually be the master bath for that um, bedroom, okay? So you have an option on what you wanna do. So again, the wall here is cut off. Everything that goes out this way, right here is the bathroom for the master for that bedroom. But it looks like they opt out and made it another bedroom. Reason why I know that is because I sell a lot of this model. Okay. I love how clean this design is. Love the colors. Love how white those uh the vanity is. Tub shower combo. Toilet, okay. You know, the other uh, Robert's model in Summerlin is actually a lot better than this floor plan and design. Also, I noticed that this one, um, because there's a pool here, I would actually put a door right here to utilize to actually have a, uh, a pool bathroom so that way people ain't trampling in your house and getting the floors all wet that would actually drive me nuts ok 
cast iron tub, which is really nice. You got your high vanity. I do love that. Wow, look at this faucet. That's pretty unique, right? So how do you know where it's hot and cold? Like, it just goes like that. Huh, weird. Beautiful bedroom. Standard, I mean, here's your closet. Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing down a little bit. I'm calling the shots, I'm turning it down. Don't worry, I know the sales guy. All right, so coming back out into the main living area. Man, this is beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna take you guys a walk around here. You know what's also cool about this channel is that if you are a interior designer, think about it, it's a great channel for you to get some ideas, right? That's what a lot of people have been telling me. I've been getting a lot of ideas. Also, you have an option to do a corner fireplace here too as well. Looks like they didn't op opt on that, okay? Now, you see these sliders? These sliders will actually cost you. Also, if you have a slider, it's required that you actually put a outlet there. Also, one thing that you have to take a look at is if you do uh, your electrical, and this is one of the reasons why you need to hire a realtor that specializes in new home builds. If you are running your electrical, where do you put your electrical? You see this? Um, you see this carpet right here? Okay. So this is your whole living space, right? You see the lamps? Okay. If you did not put a electrical outlet here on the floor, that means you would actually have to run a cord from there to there. How shitty is that gonna look, right? So these are the things that you just need to know when you're building a home. Because here's the thing, the way that they run that, they gotta dig a hole, they gotta trench it, okay? So th hopefully that's a value right there for why you should hire a realtor. And if you're gonna hire a realtor, hopefully you hire me. Okay, so here's the master. And let's see what they did with the master bath. So this, this right here is actually um, an option, okay? That's something I probably definitely would, would like to have. Here's your closet. Now, I think this is more would be his. Let me know if you guys agree. Now, look at the shower here. This right here is actually a standard how it comes. And that's the reason why I like this one. But there are all different configurations to this. I believe this one is standard. I could be wrong, okay? Dude, I love, look at the tile work on this thing. That's crazy. Again, if you take a look, the thing is not sealed. And especially when you have white granite like this in the shower, especially when you're like, your feet is dirty. That's gonna be so hard to clean. I do like this tub though, however, that tub. Fiberglass. Can you hear it? Oh, look at that fixture. Crazy. As big as this shower is, why is there only one shower head? Upgrade, two shower heads, spend the money, do it. Now look at this, floating vanity with the LED lights on the bottom. That's crazy, I love that one big mirror here. Cool, huh? Come back here, here's your toilet, okay? So here's a closet, this must be hers because all the purses, okay? And here's that door again. Okay. So we're gonna go check out the master. All right, let's see what we got here in the master here. I'm gonna try to like talk over this. As loud as I can, as fast as I can, so that way 
I don't get monetized and it doesn't get picked up, but however, look how huge this bedroom is. All right. I'm just gonna cover the mic, see if that works. Okay. But as you can see what it actually looks like. So now we're just gonna go back out into the uh, living room area and actually take you back out here into the, uh, the back. I don't know if we can actually get out into the back. It actually might be uh, locked. Okay, so we definitely allowed to go out to the back. I thought it was gonna go off. However, um, wow. This is a little bit different from the one up in Summerlin, that's for sure. Oh, look at the uh, flooring on here. Cool. Coming out to the pool. Dang. This is definitely a party pad. Party pad, wouldn't you say? That is dope, huh? Oh, look at this. They got a leak right here. I love that uh, Infinity Jacuzzi pool right there. That is dope. You got your pop-ups, the waterfall. There's something about the sound of the waterfall. It's very serene. And also I noticed this time of year, you always get like bees that always flock to like the jacuzzi. I don't know if it's like the chemicals in, in the jacuzzi. I know it's a little bit dark in the video. I do apologize. It is getting a little bit dark out here and I'm just trying to finish up this video. It's already about four o'clock. Like I said, with the, uh, the time change, uh, everything is just, it's starting to get really dark here quickly. But the temperature is still around 60s in the morning. Uh, like 78 in the afternoon which is really nice and this is um from my girl right here if you guys can hear the uh, rocks crumbling below my feet uh apparently one of the subscribers and i mentioned this before so i'm just gonna give you a shout out now i thought that was pretty weird but i don't know every time i walk on rocks out the first thing i do is think of um the subscriber with that comment so shout out this is for you all right so let me know what you guys think about uh, this property in the uh, comments below. If this is something that uh, you can see yourself living in, or do you guys actually prefer the uh, other Roberts model up in the Summerlin uh, area? But that's gonna run you about another $120,000 more. But said and done, uh, this home probably be about almost 800, 900,000, but the one up in the Summerlin is gonna be about 1.2 by the time you're done. But remember, what you're paying for is actually location, location, okay? Let me know what you guys think about this property. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Cruiswant with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.